Morning, some big budget cuts are on the horizon for Salem Kaiser Public Schools. The superintendent says in total the district will have to make $70 million worth of cuts just this school year. Fox Rose Amal L. Hell joins us live with more. So, Amal, the big question I'm sure everybody wants to know how could this impact the, act, the students themselves? Well, right now, the district is addressing the first $30 million in budget cuts, which they say will not be impacting students. But the other $40 million in cuts that are expected to come later in the school year, they say will be impacting students in some way. At this point, we're not entirely sure what that impact will look like, but that is how the superintendent framed it yesterday in a video message where she detailed the first $7 million in recommended reductions. The announcement comes just days after Portland Public school teachers ended their nearly month-long strike over financial issues with their district. And I need to be clear that Salem Kaiser Public Schools financial situation is significantly worse than Portland. Although we are close in size and we serve a community with far greater and more complex need, Portland Public Schools receives $115 million a year in funding that we do not. This budget message is scary and it's hard to say, it's hard to hear. But we can't change the truth. We have to take action. We're entering a period in which we need to make do with less and we are creating the plans to do so. She says the district will share another set of proposed budget cuts today, and by the end of next week, the district will share the entire package. But here is some of what they are proposing, at least for right now, in terms of those cuts. 63 district leaders will have their base salaries frozen next year. The superintendent said she personally will invest $30,000 of her own salary over this year and next into students, staff, and youth-serving organizations. There will also be a reduction in district purchasing, including including investments in technology, a suspension in the purchasing of new district vehicles, and a reduction in conference travel programs like AVID and dual language instruction. Again, this just gives us a preliminary understanding of where the money for these budget cuts could be coming from, but we should know more by the end of next week. This announcement comes a day after Oregon Governor Tina Kotek announced her plans to address school funding in the next legislative session, which does not start until 20. 25. Reporting live, I'm Al Hal, Good Day, Oregon.